guys, my name is Edwin Thomas Elza and welcome to Mr. Padarku. So let's talk about photosynthesis. Now, what is photosynthesis? Photo means light and synthesis means combining different components to make a whole. Now, together they mean that the combination of different components in the presence of light to form a suitable resource. Now, uh, by definition, photosynthesis means uh, the process of converting carbon dioxide and water to oxygen and food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll by plants. Or we could say that it is the process by which plants and other organisms convert light energy into chemical energy. Now, um, many uh, plants and organisms uh, use photosynthesis to convert carbon dioxide to oxygen, but um, oxygen is not always a compulsory byproduct. There are many bacteria which release rotten egg smelling gas called hydrogen sulfide. Now you may ask who, uh, which, what all organisms need photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis is uh, required by the category of organisms called autotrophs. Now autotrophs means uh, organisms which can produce their own food using the different uh, materials which are uh, inorganic materials which are available to them. Now these autotrophs include plants and many bacteria and algae. Now the uh, organisms which use photosynthesis producing this food are called photoautotrophs because they can only produce food in the presence of sunlight. Now you may ask where does photosynthesis occur? Photosynthesis occurs in, uh, in leaves. Leaves contain plant cells which have chloroplasts. Now chloroplasts use the carbon dioxide and water which the plant has absorbed from its atmosphere to convert it into glucose and oxygen. Now this happens in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Now what is chlorophyll? Now chlorophyll is a green pigment which is found in the leaves which is the cause of the green color of the leaves. Now cl what chlorophyll does is it traps the sunlight uh, which falls on the leaves and uses it as the fuel for the uh, process of photosynthesis. Now you may ask, when does all this happen? Photosynthesis occurs in broad daylight. What that means is that photosynthesis requires sunlight at all points. That means that it can only happen during the day. Now what happens in the night then? In night, plants respire. This means that they take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide like we do but not in such large quantities. What benefit does this have to us humans? Here is the thing you need to know that photosynthesis is one of the most essential processes in our natural environment. Without photosynthesis, what would happen is that oxygen levels would decrease and carbon dioxide would increase. Now, oxygen, the decrease in um, oxygen would lead to the death of many organisms which depend on oxygen for living for example humans and many animals and when the carbon dioxide level uh, increases what happens is that global warming increases that is the earth starts to heat up so now you understand how important photosynthesis is important to us so that's all for today guys so stay tuned for this series there will be many more topics coming in don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you would be notified whenever I upload a new video. So this is Mr. Padago signing off.